do not study for the practice ASVAB. And I'm going to tell you why. So you must be interested in joining at least one branch of the military since you're watching this video. And even though this channel is Airman Vision, this video and all other ASVAB or MEPS videos relate to every single branch because no matter which branch you're joining, it is all the same. We go through the same process. We take the same ASVAB and all the branches do everything together through all of that. So I'm actually in the process of joining the Air Force right now and I totally get it. We all want to try and be as prepared as possible for every single thing that's happening. That's why we're researching and watching YouTube videos. But trust me, when it comes to this, do not study for your practice ASVAB. Now, the reason being is because you are not actually graded on this. Again, it is a practice ASVAB, obviously. It's not the real test. And this is just a trial period to show you where you're proficient and where you need more work. So there is really no point to study before you take the practice ASVAB. You're just adding more work than is necessary. But if you are somebody watching this and you are wanting to join the Air Force, I have a whole video that breaks down uh, all the beginning steps from finding your recruiter and so on. But basically, once you get an appointment with your recruiter, you're gonna go take the practice ASVAB during that appointment. So when you go to take your practice ASVAB, you are only going to be tested on the AFQT. When you go to join the military, you just get all of these acronyms thrown at you and you're like, what is the ASVAB and the PICAT and the AFQT and then this and that and this and that. This and that, this and that, and that. There's so much, I know. But stay tuned because I have another video coming out soon that is going to talk about the ASVAB. It's going to give a breakdown. It's going to explain everything and give you tips to study for the actual ASVAB. So back to the practice ASVAB. You're going to be tested on the AFQT, which is the Armed Forces Qualification Test. And that is actually the score that really matters when you go to take the real ASVAB. So it's going to be four sections. Mathematics knowledge, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, and paragraph comprehension. So your recruiter will probably give you about 30 to 40 minutes to take those four sections. It is self-timed. Don't stress about it. It's really not a big deal. You'll just go through, answer the multiple choice questions. No phone, no calculator. You can't have either of those on the real ASVAB but you'll get a scratch paper and a pencil both at the practice and at the real ASVAB. So once you are done with those four sections, it will bring you to a screen that has the scores on it and you'll have an overall score and it'll give you the breakdown of what your score was in each of those four subjects. So that's when you will leave that screen there. You'll go get your recruiter and bring them back in so they can look at your score and then talk with you maybe about things you need to work on. Now, normally the practice ASVABs are harder than the actual ASVAB. So anyone that I have ever talked to has scored way higher on the actual ASVAB than they did on the practice ASVAB. Basically, your recruiter will look at it and then they will give you advice on what you need to work on. So for me, I did really well on my yes. word knowledge and paragraph comprehension comprehension, but when it came to mathematics knowledge and arithmetic reasoning, I absolutely bombed those sections. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And my recruiter's just like, it's okay, just work on those sections. And that is exactly what I did. So the reason I'm telling you guys not to study is you wanna know where you are, where your strong points are, where your weak points are. If I would have taken all of that time to study all four sections, but then it's like, I just wasted my time. If I was already gonna do really well on two of those, I wasted all that time studying when I already know it. My recruiter basically just suggested for me to go to fourtests.com and use that to study with, which is what I did. I suggest if you guys do use that to use the computer version because the ads on that page are ridiculous and if you use an iPad or a phone ads will pop up in front of your question and you can't even use it properly and it's really annoying but if you use it on a computer you're gonna be good and then I am gonna be posting my other video soon like I said about tips for studying for the actual ASVAB and how I got 84 and all that. All right, I know I keep rambling on about the same thing, but, but I hope this video helped you guys. Just chill, it's gonna be good, don't overdo it, and we're all just gonna keep moving forward to the next steps to joining the military, so best of luck to all you guys. I'll see you in another video.